Hey, what's up, fam? It's Brandy, and we are doing another really anticipated video, and we're reacting to more Baby Metal. You guys have been really, really giving me so much love on all the Baby Metal reacts we've been doing, and I've been doing more metal reacts in general. We're doing metal every single Monday on the channel, and sometimes more days than that, but everybody has over and over again told me to react to the Road of Resistance the live in Japan video. Now, I feel like I've heard this song before, but I can't say I've heard it multiple times. I also have never seen this live version before, and you guys said that the live versions really just pack so much more energy, and it also highlights a lot of the vocals more. So I wanted to check it out. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go and see how this breaks down in comparison to the the music video versions of stuff. Here we go. Man, I can only imagine going to these concerts. They would be so cool. So, um, I'm gonna need that baby metal flag, like, yesterday. <laughs> so cool. Dude, I've got goosebumps. Like, I have chills already. Dude, look at the pit ready to go. Dude, yes. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> dude, I love it. Dude, I love, like, the vocals and the choreography. Right off the rip, like, the energy is just so high. Man, I would love to go to one of their concerts. I feel like it would be so freaking fun. Like, dude, just seeing that pit and just how many people were there and the energy that each one of their songs packs, like, ah, man, it's so good. And this song, like, it, it's definitely amping up where it, it right off the rip it was like in your face but it's we, we only just starting this song we got more to go oh my god that's the freaking guitar solo man so good
food. What is this, like, pathway to the middle of the pit? That's so cool. So cool. Dude, I love this stage setup. Like, this is so cool. Jesus, that is a packed arena. <laughs> Whoever that one guy is, he's like going in. <laughs> This is such like an anthem, like a like it's it's not necessarily like um repeatedly like fast, high energy in your face for the entirety of the song. It's kind of just like a it, like I said, it's like an anthem. Like it, it's bringing everyone together in this unity that is baby metal. That sounds so cliche, but it really just is. And I kind of like it when bands, especially rock and metal bands, have songs like this that are kind of like that, you know, we're going to have our fast, our upbeat, our high energy, our fun songs. And then it's kind of like, let's get to this point where it's just us and the fans and the community connecting. And that's what you're getting with this, which honestly, I, I see why people told me to listen to the live version of this, because you wouldn't have gotten all of that from just a music video. And honestly, I don't feel like this song is my favorite of theirs, which is probably why I wasn't as familiar with it from their earlier albums. And I, I think it's because I never saw it live or saw it like this, because it just gives a very different feel. And I, I like that. Dude, look at that circle pick going, man. Heck yeah. Yeah, there we go. I like this. She also just like has such a good voice that I feel like sometimes it's not highlighted enough on like the actual audio tracks for the album.
And I love this little bridge thing. This stage is so cool. so cool live in japan dude you know what i kind of wonder what who who are our baby metal fans like when i think of like you know different rock crowds and stuff it's like you know big burly lumberjack dudes or if it's like pop punk it's like skinny emo kids who is in a baby metal crowd because i feel like it's such a mix all over the place of like what would be in that crowd and that's kind of awesome that it's, it's so many different people and walks of life coming together for, you know, such an interesting, interesting band. But, dude, that was so cool. I feel like I, I'm glad that I, I'm watching this now because, like I said, I definitely didn't get this impact from this song. But, dude, this was back in 2015, too. Man, oh, man. This is so stinking cool. I think the... Like, the lead singer, she just, like, goes above and beyond. And, and I was even saying it. Like, she was sweating. She was dancing. She was singing. She was killing it. And, like, her vocals were on point the whole time. Like, they were clean. Super, super clean. And I feel like with, with rock artists, it's hard to, you know, dance and move around and do those kind of vocals and stay on beat every time. She nailed it. That was really impressive and really st stinking good. I have to look up more of these live concerts because that was gives a such a different energy than the music videos. And and a bunch of people also commented some of the music videos they like auto tune their voices a little bit, so it definitely gives a different sound. But as always, what did you think? Because I know we have a lot of big metal fans that have been coming through the channel recently. If you have more suggestions for more songs from them, please let me know as well as any other rock or metal artists. I'm always looking to find new people. I know you guys suggested a couple of different artists that are either J-pop or K-pop or in, in that sphere that I've got to look into. So those will be coming up soon. But as always, if you like this, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It helps so incredibly much, especially so you guys can get updates when I put out more videos. I've been trying to put out more baby metal rock and just like nerdcore reacts in general. And uh, I put up new videos every day at 4 p.m. So make sure to check those out. Also, I stream over on Twitch every Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, so if video games is also your cup of tea, feel free to hang out with me over there as well. That is going to be me, it for me. That is going to be it for me for this video. Hopefully you guys like this as much as I did, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.